Yeah, Nate, you wild, bet. All right, man. We back. And today, kind of a new series. I got a whole monologue that I want to go through. So if you just want to skip straight to the reaction, timestamp right here. All right, monologue now. So I was thinking of like new series for the channel and all and whatnot. And one thing I want to do is kind of like revisit discographies. Albums that I have already re listened to, but I kind of want a new perspective on them. Because some albums I haven't heard in a brick, and it might give me better perspective on what I think about the artist as a whole. I always wanted to kind of do this, kind of sit down experience the whole artistic growth of said artist kind of change any revisionist history or recency bias that I had before then I'll just do at the end of the review or the reaction put in a tier list of where I think each album stands for me and that's that sometimes it might be a brand new discography that I want to tap into um I don't know what I want to call the series whether it's revisiting rediscovering discographies let me know in the comments I guess for right now we're going to start out Kind of with a with a with a banger, Kendrick Lamar. Listen, man, Kendrick is the greatest rapper of the last generation. There's no denying what he's done in his discography. Damn near flawless discography, if you ask me. But I was talking to my boy the other day, and when we we're talking about Kendrick's discography, the album Section 80 came up. We're having the talk. He said I was low key underrating the shit out of Section 80. Cause I just thought, I always enjoyed the album, I liked how raw this album was, but I always thought from here there, Kendrick would just be five steps ahead of everything that was on this project. He kept on telling me that I was underrating it quite a bit, and you know what, I was like, hey, we're gonna see. <laughs> you know, I had to think to myself, cause it's like, it's been a very, very long time since I've heard this album. Like, I wanna say like three, four, maybe even five years. <laughs> it's been a long time. So this album, from what I remember, is a good album, but I might be underrating it. Maybe I could think it's overrated. Who knows? This is why we're here. Change any revisionist history that I might have had. And I also want to see where we're at right now with Kendrick Lamar. You can see the growth between every single project from Section 80 to Good Kid Mad City to, to Pippa Butterfly all the way to Mr. Morale. You can see the constant growth in his artistry, in him personally, how his album narratives connect through each project. I kind of want to sit down and kind of digest it as a whole, back to back to back. I don't know, just just to kind of experience it all. Just take in the, the aura of one of the greats, you know what I mean? Without further ado, man, let's just get right into this. Section 80, Kendrick Lamar, first track we got is Fuck Your Ethnicity. Hey, man, this, this track is fucking hard as shit. Know that this fire that's burning represents the passion you have. Listen. Oh shit, I just gotta remember like, this for the time that this came out, this is like, this is like 2011, early 2010s era. This shit when it came out was something for the times, like, like, you just had to be there. And someone at, like a conscious rapper like Kendrick also fucking bang was something refreshing for that time. So I just gotta, I gotta prepare myself. A lot of things hitting me right now when I listen to this. Your ethnicity. Damn. You understand that? We can talk about a lot of shit that concerns you. Only you. Oh, low key jazz. Fuck. Ooh, that baseline is tight as fuck. The music that saved my life. Y'all be calling it hip hop. I be calling it hypnotized. Yeah. Ugh. Racism is still alive. Yellow tape and colored lines. Mm. Fuck that nigga, look at that line down with God, cause I got my sins up, ooh. Matter of fact, don't mistake me for no fucking rapper. Nigga. I'm tired of y'all, cause everybody lied to y'all. And you believe it, recognize them false achievements, it's treason, and I'm tiling all. I knock out when you knock <laughs> off. That's Open nice. the doors of opportunity, I'm too involved. I'm no activist, I'm no Einstein before calculus. I'm but that, that, that was the fucking intro. That, that right there, man. Like, you can see just how raw he is when it comes to just composition and song structure in general. Like, obviously, he gets better from, from, from here, but just for a first fucking track, just how the different layers in, in the pacing of the track, this shit was fucking dope as hell. A lot of reflection from Kendrick on here. You know, the regular food for thought that you know Kendrick for and you love it. That that was just refreshing as fuck. The production, too, though it is kind of of the times, it definitely sounds like a 2011 ass beat. Honestly, there's like little things on there that I definitely like the novelty of. How J 
jazzy the beat is, but then the subtle bass lines and that kind of make the the beat so much fuller. I really, really like that. That was a tight ass opener. That was dope as fuck. Next track we got is Hole Up. Let's get it. I wrote this record while 30,000 feet in the air. Steward is complimenting me on my nappy hair. Wrist. Eat my asparagus, then I'm asking her thoughts of a young nigga. Fast Eat my asparagus. Oh, shit. What? Hold on. I didn't know that this kind of bait. Oh. Truth be told, I'm like 87, not even myself a Gemini screaming for help somebody. Hola. 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 This kind of a banger. Do it like this. Hold on. Hey, hold on. I don't remember Hole Up being that, that much of a banger. It's not a, it's not the, the crazy deep song that some people will probably look to Kendrick for. It's a very hook heavy song, if anything. The hook is very infectious. Along with the beat, I think the song structure with a lot of the harmonizing in in the chorus area was pretty, pretty nice. Kendrick's writing on there was still pretty damn good. I thought the, the songwriting in general was very, very well put together. That's just a solid ass track. Like, I don't really got anything to say. That was a banger. Low key, I felt like I was on top of the world. Keep it going, man. ADHD. Oh, fuck. This one right here. Fuck that. Eight doobies to the face. face. Fuck that. that. Twelve bottles in the case, nigga. Fuck that. This is a classic. Do I even need to listen to this shit? Now order someone to bring them right good. Didn't hope to take the pain away from the feeling that he feel today. You know when you're part of generation sipping cough syrup. Black as water. Never no pancakes in the kitchen. Man, out about the end. Gives a fuck. We never do listen unless it comes with an air to wait. But melody has a uh, hey. You're you're mixing the, the righteous with the with the vibes. You know what I mean? Cause he was saying some shit in that first verse. Do she say 22? I say 23. Okay, then we all crack babies. Damn. Fact that she just might open up when a new foe start to drown. Everybody and I know the both of us really nice. Man, that is just a classic. Mixing the 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 vibes with also the the storytelling. Talking about addiction. Structuring of that track was fucking was fucking beautiful. Hook was infectious as well. That was just a classic song all around. Three tracks in. I feel like I'm underrating this album heavy. I'm shutting myself up because. Lord, this is, this is, this is the shit. You can see how, like, I don't want to say timid Kendrick is, but you can definitely tell, like, there's some aspects that, like, when it comes to just, just rapping and it, his vocal inflections and him experimenting later down the road, you can tell that this is just the him figuring it out phase. And for him just fucking figuring it out, shit's raw as fuck. No Makeup is the next track. So this is going to build up upon the narrative of ADHD, so let's get it. I love the way you put it on your eyes. The don't wake up today. No. About grown, damn girl, what's so much? You about to blow your cover when you cover up. Don't you know your imperfections is the one who do it without style from your lips all the way to your um, eyes, no. don't see it, don't see it <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I'm good on that song. Someone should have told Kendrick in the studio while wow, it does fit narratively. Sonically, uh no. Absolutely not. That is this is like the equivalent to fucking Lupe Lupe Fiasco Lasers era. Like it's it just sounds fucking whack. <laughs> Like, everything about it, like, the hook is terrible. Fucking uh, progressions in the beat is just sound fucking generic as shit. Uh, this, this is the equivalent of YouTube rap, isn't it? Oh my god. Um, but, narratively, content-wise, I get it. But the shit sounds bad. That's it. I'm glad he left this type of sound in 2011 and never returned to it. Um, because then I won't have to hear anything as belligerent as that. Thank you, K-Dot. Anyways, next track we got is Tammy's song, Her Evils. Let's get it. For my nigga, fuck the mother. Until one day, he was an active ride. In the middle of the night, she checked his phone. Erica ride. 
another nigga when she tired of her nigga Sick of lies from her nigga Fuck that other I know this girl, she a real hood girl And she with the day, he was an acting right In the middle of the night, she checked his pockets Found condoms by Magnum in the moment they was acknowledged Yeah, I don't really got much to say about that track I think it, this track was more building upon the narrative Um, the beat was pretty, like, experimental In comparison to everything else on it It felt like, like an 8-bit Space Ghost perp ass beat I think the the hook fit very very well with within that beat. Don't really got much to say other than that. Not bad. Next track we got is chapter six. Oh shit! Don't hit me with this R&B ass shit, neo soul. It's interesting how his I'm singing has gotten a like discuss. a lot better since his prime. Hey, no complaints with this song. We're just gonna go right into the next track, Ronald Reagan era. We're far from good, not good from far. 90 miles per hour down comes and boulevard. Under the Compton Court building. Oh shit. Welcome to Vigilante. 80, so don't you ask me. I'm hungry, my body's antsy. I ripped through your fucking pantry. Pick candy. Washed up. Pussy fix your panties. I'm Mr. Marcus. You getting fucked on. You ain't an artist. This deck it in vain. Fight it in. Couldn't ease the pain. Hold on. I forgot about this shit. Two gorgeous dragon. The dragon. The record industry by my fangs. AK clips, money clips, and gold chains. Oh shit. California dungeons. Check. Spin it all on a 40 ounce to the neck and in retrospect oh I remember God. December being the hottest Bro, this shit is fucking crazy Holy shit, this is the best track on the album The production is hard as shit, but then the aggression from Kendrick on top of what he's saying Fucking brutal We all know the effect of the Reagan era Come on now, like this is, and how he's fucking putting it into song <sighs> This motherfucker right here Oh my gosh, this song is fucking crazy. Pass Johnny because he's racist. 1987, the children of Ronald Reagan break the leaves off your front porch with a machine blow torch. This ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh my gosh. But they fuck never win. Right, I had the yapper and I told they ass up. Brother, man, might I say that is like a damn near perfect song? Best track on that on the album so far. Like so much layers, so much layers in that lyrically. Beat hard as shit, very very aggressive, grimy, dirty. It tracks like the blacker the berry. Like actually makes sense now. Like like this was like the fucking seed. You know what I mean? Like this is like the 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 spark of life. The moment of conception of like what that track would soon become. Uh, that track was fucking, wah, yeah. Uh, Po Man's Dream featuring GLC. Let's get it. Face when he sentenced me. Since my uncle was institutionalized, my intuition has said I was suited for family size. Oh wow. Mom, your minister tried to save me. How I'm gonna listen when I don't even hear God? Heaven or hell, base it all on my instincts. My hand ain't nigga that killed with ya, squeal with ya. I deal with ya like my son, oh my stare at the gosh. sun. You'll be looking in my eyes, homie, to, to know that I'm so determined to blow that you hear the music I wrote, hope it get you off death row. You came home to a pocket full of stones, a metro PC phone. Bro, is this like one of the best? This is fucking. Dope as fuck. My real niggas with me. Fuck the police, they gon' have to come and get me. If it... Hey, we gotta we gotta have a conversation about GLC, man. What the fuck happened to him? <laughs> with ya, I like to start it out from the bottom and build with ya. Be on my last dollar and split the bill with ya. I'm 23 with morals and plans are livical. Cause really I'm just a nigga that's evil and spiritual. I know uh. some rappers using big words to make their similes curve. My simplest shit be more pivotal. I penetrate uh. the heart. Hey man, we on a two track run of peak. And Po Man's Dream was a perfect contrast coming coming right after Ronald Reagan era. I really have have had no complaints with the, with these last two tracks. Like <laughs> Peak. It looks like Spiteful Chant is off streaming, so we're gonna go on YouTube real quick to uh, search it up because uh, I don't know why they took that shit off streaming. I don't know why. I know a lot of people that smile in my face, but talk behind my back every time I'm on some Monday. I'm going back some Monday. 
<laughs> this is showing a little immature side to Kendrick. Alright. This beat kind of sucks. This one kind of blows. I can't even lie. <laughs> it's not. It's not terrible. I guess it's mid. It's pretty fucking mid. But this song is way too long. I remember when I came out and shit, man. It's been so long. No, I forgot. Schoolboy Q's on this. I think that track uh, is definitely uh, for the time, <laughs> to say the least. Some of the some of the production choices on that song is like you would be looked at crazy if you did that shit today, and not in a good way either. But if, like the little progressions into the hook and all that, the, the fucking horns, the fucking drums, the snare, that shit is bad. I like the passion in Schoolboy Q's verse. I thought Kendrick's performance on, on this track was definitely, I don't want to say it's the one of his weaker performances on the project, but honestly, it was definitely his most immature, I guess. Like, that track was just seemed like, it low-key might be a blessing that it's off the streaming version. On to the next track, Chapter 10. Let's get it. That we living with some of the masculine, some of the feminine. Remember the universe used to be innocent. Now they just look at us crazy like immigrants. Every day that I wake up, I'm a sin again. I'm not a citizen. I'm just a nigga from Section 80. Show of hands out. Leave everything on the table now. Mmm. Really. There you go. Should have been paying attention to what he's been saying. All right, Keisha's song. Flagging down all of these flashy cars. Uncles, lipstick is suitable to make you think for more. She played Mr. Shakur. That's her favorite rapper, Bump and Brenda's got a baby while a pervert yelling at her. And she captured mm. pictures of her no park. And in her heart, she hated there. But in her mind, she made it where nothing really matters. So she hit the back seat. Rosa Parks never a factor when she's making ends meet. Fancy nah, girls. Man. She's always paranoid. Watching the law inside the streets. Undercovers and dummies that look like decoys. Remember Sergeant let her slide. Said if he seen what's between her thighs. Mm. Man, white man needing satisfaction. At first it became a practice, but now she's numb to it. Sometimes she wonder if she can do it like nuns do it but crazy ass storytelling and how this like it blooms into the next albums crazy for a lot of the hooks on this project like the a lot of the hooks on here are kind of especially since since no makeup at least a lot of the hooks on here have kind of been hit or miss that on Keisha's song that is one of the hooks where there is a feature as the hook and it is done well. A lot of the a lot of the hooks that have features kind of been underwhelming, um, but that one was a pretty good one. I will say, not much to really say with that track. Masterful storytelling from Kendrick. All the whole narrative with Keisha and Kendrick moves forward into the next albums uh, is fucking amazing. So yeah, that track right there, awesome. Don't got much to say. Next track we got is classic Rigor Mortis. Let's get it. He did. I killed him. Amen. Bitch. <laughs> and this is Rigor Mortis, and it's gorgeous when you die. I leave the shit, then I decline. I climax for you <laughs> begin, and then I the shit, then I decline. You got a hell of an appetite, and I'm a beer for a while. Just buckle up before the ride, or knuckle up if you can fight. We always making them double die. This is like 808. Okay, now we're getting good. That that first one sounded fucking whack. Yo, felony, Ferro got me so many, and cool enough for the set. Got me breathing with dragons. I'll crack the egg in your basket, you bastard. I'm Bell Manson. Don't ask who your favorite rapper. He did. Yep, yep. Amen. I know. He did. That's in my casualty, and it's casually done. And tell him my salary coming. Lumps of 100s. Don't talk to me about no money. The sun is under my feet, and I come in peace to compete. I don't run a few rapidly. There you go. My statistics go up in weeks. He's flowing. Everybody be chinging and mad at me. Breaking us kindred. Bro, this man got lungs? The fuck? 
kind of uh, in retrospect, kind of a lyrical miracle S track, if you ask me. There's some things in the in the beat that I don't necessarily love, or well, a little bit more more interesting. But this was this was a in his lyrical exercise bag. Definitely fuck with the flows. Definitely fuck with the metaphors and the in the rhyme schemes on there. He got in his he got in a little pocket there at the end that that you question whether or not he has lungs or not. There's some things that I think I think that stopped it from being completely peak, but this is definitely like an essential Kendrick Lamar track. Um, next track we got is Christian Corinthians uh, featuring BJ the Chicago Kid. This ain't a good place to be. How far is heaven? Let's see. Is it in the clouds like they said it would be? I wonder when I die. Wow, this when beat is me fire. I wonder what fire. I said love. What I'm doing, I'm saying that I'm human. Now people just ride to it, ride to it. Cause you never know when a bullet might hit and you die to it, die to it, die to it, die to it. Live you can already see at the, at the young age that he wants to do great things, but then he also, you know, has his own issues as well so i love the self-awareness on here do a ride to it because you never know when a bullet might hit and you die to it die to it die to it die to it live your life live it right be different do different things don't do it like i'd have you ever had oh, wow. thing that was taking sinners advice well it's probably you am i right if i'm wrong you a fucking lie when i lie on my, oh my back gosh they're writing on this shit is fucking nuts Live my life, live it right, be different, do different things, don't do it like he did, cause he ain't what I is, but we can't win, wait, let's get straight to the future, all the day me go had that seat, I lost one of my biggest believers, one of the feature goats right here man, don't got anything to say about that track, honestly, I really really like that beat, I like how smooth it is, love the internal struggle, uh, that Kendrick does have, uh, that he is displaying within this track, uh, I think it's very, very well written, um, the BJ Chicago Kid feature, like, come on, man, bringing that soul to the track, fucking love it, that was a great track as well, this last leg of the album, man, second half, bro, uh, besides, besides Spiteful Chant, like, pff, no misses at all, none, next track we got is Blow My High, Smoking, I pouring up, keep that lean up in my cup. All my car got leather and wood in my hood. We call it book. I love the southern drawl on this. This is tight. Bitch niggas gonna throw tantrums and I'm dancing on them stars, the galaxy. Hold on, this is getting smooth as shit. Yep. Love the not to Leah. That was tight as fuck. All my car got left in my business. I can't fuck with y'all. In the street of counterfeits. I can't fuck with y'all. Look, stand niggas like the got up like bitches. Sip down Perry on when we finish, we say nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love just, I love how smooth that track is. I love the nods. That was great. That was fire. Absol's outro featuring Absol. I feel so much angst. Sounds like a top fucking Tom and Jerry fucking thing. Like a sip this elixir before they crop us out the picture. Uh. I never seen a crop circle, but I seen cop circle to block a plus squares, but I swear one day I'ma stop my man. Come to our show, you can see the diversity. Unify the people, they gon' peep it universally. We might not change the world, Fuck. but we gon' manipulate it. I hope you participate Came across a real man who didn't play games like children. My nigga mm. cheated on his girlfriend. See, his girlfriend he's tying all the, the all the narratives yeah. up. Life is traffic jam. Life is traffic jam. Solo Solo's wordplay, man, is fucking second to none, man. Fucking crazy. One to twenty one, listen to Kendrick. For instance, what's your life about? Enlighten me. Is you gonna live on your knees or die on your feet? Take out that student loan and pay off your college degree and do exactly what you see on TV. Truth for answers. I'm not the next pop star. I'm not the next socially aware rapper. I am a human motherfucking being of a dope ass instrumentation. Kill you off. Real? Real? Tell him. Now, now we on the outro, man. High power. The one where everybody's like, oh my gosh, J. Cole produced for, for Kendrick Lamar. Yes, it's J. Cole's best beat. High power. Tough. Tough. 
the Serengeti's clone. Back to put you back, stab us back on your spinal bone. You slit your disc when I slit you my dish. You wanted to diss, but jumped on my dick. Sell plum, I got my finger on oh the motherfucker. Aiming it at the pig, Charlotte's web is gonna miss you. My issue uh, doesn't tell a Oh my god. Building pyramids, writing my own hieroglyphs. Just call really? this shit high power. Nigga, nothing less than high power. Five you stars. Brutalizing this beat. Oh shit. shit. Happy. Sorry, mama, I can't turn the other cheek. They wanna knock me off the edge like a fucking widow's peak. Uh, uh, you always told me pray for the, the weak. Uh, Illuminati. Last time I checked, that was the biggest racist party. Oh so my god. Because we've been off through slave ships. Got our own pyramids, write our own hieroglyphs. Fucking crazy, crazy ass line, bruh. This is how you wrap up an album, too. Alright, man. There you have it. Kendrick Lamar, Section 80. Man, I was fucking wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. Let me tell you, like, my original opinion on this project, and then how I feel now. Alright, so we're gonna do original now. Get it? Got it? Good. Prior to this, you know, revisit. I always thought this album was good for what it was, but I always thought it, it just paled in comparison to the rest of his discography. I thought everything on this project aged fucking poorly, and the beats sound fucking dated, and everything just seemed like it was a raw version of Kendrick, but honestly it wasn't anything memorable to really necessarily come back to. Now, I, I listen to this back and I'm like, yeah, um... I'm wrong, because there's shit on here that honestly give the highs of his later albums a run for their money, like Fuck Your Ethnicity, fucking ADHD, Poe Man's Dream, Ronald Reagan era, Cushing Corinthians, Blow My High, High Power, like, there's shit on here, man, that is just, is just undeniable. For the time this came out, and, and how it holds up today is honestly crazy, what, it's 14 years later? almost 15 like this shit sounds very very good i used to think that this album was by far kendrick's worst if we're excluding overly dedicated that i can see the debate where people might think like this is better than like damn you know what i mean like the lows on here are bad but honestly this might give damn a run for its money low-key we're just gonna have to see when i get to damn like like i said highs on here super super dope i love the second half of the project way more obviously um way more consistent spiteful chant is the only mid track on here but it's definitely due to that fucking weak ass beat um but reagan era hard as shit one of the best songs if not the best song on the project and i like how it's like the seed of was at what is actually to come i feel like um po man's dream you know cushion corinthians blow my high those fucking very laid back tracks honestly i i always uh, uh, loved those type of sounds and how he implemented those on there fucking fucking dope as hell um so like the second half of this project is is damn near fucking peak all around uh keisha's song is another great track as well that that one planting the seed of that whole narrative that storyline that will just spread on for the next albums i feel like this album does start off great too with fuck your ethnicity hold up and adhd kendrick kind of going at your throat right away with fuck your ethnicity then hole up was definitely an underrated banger I, I i did not remember how fun of a track that actually is uh no makeup is is flat out trash like that is the only trash song on here um it's probably one of kendrick's worst songs ever that's the only like bad track on here everything else is like pretty consistently quality if you ask me do some things sound dated and sound like de of the times definitely 100 percent. you just gotta kind of think back and look at like kendrick was super raw then when it comes to his rapping you can definitely tell his flow his voice and everything like he has grown so much as an artist since this project and honestly like there is a lot going on in this project as well for it to even be the debut or intro to kendrick lamar in his in his world that he's building like a lot of the song structures and progressions and the b like you can tell this man's got it 
like you, just a little patch job on a, on a few tracks could take a few tracks out of here and you're like what the fuck this man is like on a whole nother level like flow wise writing wise it's on point the fact from just a small beginning he can create catchy earworm song while also having such great substance is something to behold like i can tell why artists like fucking fucking lupe fiasco have beef with him like, he, they don't have actual beef, but, you know, there there is something there, you know what I mean? He, Kendrick Lamar is the fucking quintessential underground rapper that fucking blew up at the right time. And there are rappers that are definitely fucking salty because of that. <laughs> 100%. We're going to start the tier list right now. Pull up the tier list at a B tier. I think this is really, really good. This is an 8 out of 10 album right here. I feel like there is some flaws on here. There are definitely 100% some skips. Um, but for the most part, very, very consistent, very, very nice, well-fleshed-out narrative throughout. Um, Kendrick's storytelling is great to even start with, and it's only going to get better from here. But other than that, man, this is a pretty, pretty damn great album, I will say. So, yeah, I shall shut my mouth and, 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 and not disrespect this album no longer. I was definitely underrating the shit out of this thing. And, uh, I'm sorry for it. Didn't mean it. At all. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this new series. And, uh, yeah. We're just gonna go from there. See you on the next one. Peace.